Welcome to part 4, Markdown. We will be discussing what this file format is, why and how to use it, and some software that can help you master it. What is Markdown? Markdown is a versatile and widely adopted markup language that has revolutionized the way we format and present text in the digital world. It is an essential tool for writers, developers, and content creators alike. A markup language is a system of annotating text to provide additional information about its structure and presentation. It uses special symbols, tags, or codes to instruct how elements within the text should be displayed or formatted when rendered. HTML is another markup language. At its core, Markdown is all about simplicity and accessibility. Its syntax is intentionally straightforward, making it easy for beginners to grasp. The use of familiar symbols like asterisks, underscores, and hash symbols to denote formatting elements, such as bold, italic, headers, and lists, further enhances its user-friendliness. The true beauty of Markdown lies in its ability to seamlessly convert plain text into various formats. Platforms like GitHub and GitLab natively support Markdown, making it the goal to format for creating informative and visually appealing readme files and other documents. The ability to embed code snippets with syntax highlighting enables developers to showcase their code examples in a way that is both readable and aesthetically pleasing. So, how does it work? When creating a page with a heading title and a paragraph in Markdown, one would write the text following the Markdown rules. After rendering the Markdown document, the content would appear visually as intended. This process allows for easy creation of different document styles without the need for complex formatting. For example, you can create headers by using hash symbols at the beginning of a line. The, the number of hash symbols determines the header level. When rendering the document, it will appear different than you wrote it. Or you can format your text, make it bold, italic, or even strike through some words using various syntaxes. After rendering, the text will be displayed perfectly formatted according to Markdown's rules. By adhering to the Markdown syntax, you can quickly generate well-structured documents with varying elements such as headings, paragraphs, lists, links, images, and more. How do you write Markdown? You can write according to the syntax in any word processor, but in order to see how it will be presented when it is rendered, you need to have software that can render it. This course will recommend you find a software that helps you write Markdown. Markdown files have the file ending .md. There are Markdown editors out there that can help you with formatting. A good one is Note at znote.io. When you first start the program, you will be met with a welcome page that will help you get visual examples of Markdown and help you understand how it works. Google Markdown Guide Cheat Sheet and check out the syntax rules to help you write Markdown. Here are some examples of what Markdown can look like. And some more examples. And even more examples. There's like six examples. This is number four. But this will give you an idea what to expect. Last one. This has been a presentation about Markdown, why and how to use it. Thank you for listening. The slides for this presentation are available for download so you can read them if you need to. Until next time.